Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find any root of a number including square and cube roots on your Casio scientific calculator. The model I have here is a FX 300 MS, but it should be the same for similar models. This is one video in my scientific calculator tutorial series. Be sure to check out other videos in the series as well as other videos on my channel. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's just go over how to find the square root of a number. Let's find the square root of 16. Press the square root button right here and uh, type in 16 on the number pad and the screen looks like this and just hit enter and now we get the square root of 16 as 4. If you had operations being performed inside the square root, you should put the numbers inside the square root in parentheses to define what is actually uh, being square rooted. For example, if I had uh, 4 times 4 inside the square root, I would uh, have the square root sign, open parenthesis, 4 times 4, close the parenthesis, and then hit enter. 4 times 4 is 16 and the square root of uh, 16 is 4 so we get 4 once again. Next let's go over how to find the cube root of a number. Let's find the cube root of 27. If you look on your keypad notice that there is a yellow uh, cube root symbol above the X cube button. In order to access any feature color coded in yellow press shift and press the button over which the yellow writing is located so in this case press the X cube button and you see that the cube root symbol appears on the screen. Now go to your keypad and type in 27 and the screen looks like this hit equals and we get the cube root of 27 as 3 which we know is correct. Lastly let's look at how to find any root of a number. For simplicity's sake I'm going to find the fourth root of 256. First, I'm going to type in, I'm going to clear this out first, and uh, first I'm going to type in 4, and then if you look on the calculator, you see that above the caret key, there is a X and a root symbol. So type in shift, and hit the caret button, and now you get this on your screen. Type in 256 on your keyboard and hit equals and you get 4 as the answer and we know that the fourth root of 256 is 4. You could do this for the nth root of any number where n is an arbitrary number. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you haven't already please subscribe. As always if you have any questions or other comments feel free to leave a comment. You can also follow my channel on Facebook. The link for that will be in the description as well as in the comment section and you can post questions there also. Check out other videos on my channel and until next time, take care guys.